channel. I am here with Shudoshi uh, Luis Noguera, Serrano, Sensei Rebecca Roca, and the almost Sensei Carlos Santos. Uh, and we were here discussing very interesting aspects of the culture that is related to the emperor. So I will let uh, Luis Noguera san to explain us his uh, special techniques. Thank you very much, Shudoshi. Okay, welcome to this video. Uh, the idea here, as Juliana was introducing ourselves, it's about what was called as Kote uh, Hobosao Kote Suwonin. When we are talking about this topic, this Kote means emperor uh, or sovereign or someplace, and this Suwonin or Hobosa means protector, means god. Then there were techniques applied on different disciplines, as we are, as we understood today, but uh, with the emphasis on making protection by effectivity uh, to defend a very important person. Then these uh, these techniques were developed. Some masters said that those techniques were developed by a separate group that was specialized on defending important person that was uh, it's like moving. bodyguarding yeah. it's like bodyguarding, bodyguarding. Yes. Important, uh, yes personalities of, of a certain area yes. yes and this method it's then a broad method it's not linked to um, uh, an idea that construct that build up all the method but it's a, a concentrate on several ideas taking in account that the main purpose of all, of all these techniques is to defend, to protect this very important person. Then this group developed techniques and skills to be, uh, to be safe, these important people that need to defend. So as I understand, as it was applied to many subjects uh, on the, regarding martial uh, aspects, so we will see some special techniques within uh, Jujutsu, Gemukeru, Kopo Jutsu, Aiki Jujutsu, or, or even any other uh, circumstances to apply yes. them. Yeah? This, this method is applied, as you uh, have explained, to Mugemukeru, that it's a very, very uh, singular Jujutsu for tradition. We could apply to Kopo Jutsu, we could apply to Aiki Jutsu, to Ken Jutsu, to this. It's to say, this method are like a different ways of fighting and a special ways of fighting special skills, special disciplines uh, concerning the protection, these bodyguard skills. Then uh, these methods uh, were taught by the, by the ancient masters as an Okudan uh, level, as an uh, after degree uh, studies. Then... Okay, so I understand what we are going to show now is it, some circumstances where maybe uh, the first person they will try to neutralize will be exactly the person who will be responsible for guarding uh, yeah. the emperor or this personality and also there are some techniques that you're going to interfere in some other person's protection. Both yes? are right, both are right. This means that uh, of course one of the, of the perspective is to defend other one that has been in by uh, surprise, by assault, but uh, other ones are uh, people trying to attack you, to, to make you uh, uncapable to defend this personality. Then you need to, you need to defend, to, uh, to restrain this first. Okay, so uh, especially for you that are watching this video, uh, I would like to explain just that we are going to be okay for you to see the technique, especially because our dear representative of Madrid has an injury on his shoulder. So they are going to apply the technique for you to see and as we are more flexible and will be just for a safety circumstances, we will be the uke. Okay, but this, those techniques can be applied either for female practitioner or male practitioners. Very nice. Then I think that we could uh, start this, uh, this demonstration by Mugen Mukeru, that it's a yeah, very it's a strong beautiful. and very solid uh, Jujutsu uh, side. Then uh, surely it, it will like a lot to all our followers and viewers. Then I will ask uh, Sensei Rebecca, please, could you help me? 
I will be staying on that side because moreover explaining to you I will show what will happen and you will see also in the camera the first thing uh, on this uh, on this Mugen Mukeru, she will try, she's the attacker, and she will try to neutralize I myself, get I get the lapel first. grabbing on my lapel here. From here, the first thing, it's a very strong uh, mm, strike with both hands here, very strong, in order to get weak the body of the, of the opponent. Then from here, one more time, we have this strike, and I move my right hand over, I pass over uh, the arm, and from here I have this control. It will be interesting also, Luis, if you can also just show the second impact on the face. Yes. yes, I will show right now. She drops my level, strike, move, passing, and from here, sorry, sorry, wait, 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 here. This, I am doing very slow, this will strike at the same time this is performing the, uh, the shoulder lock here in order to do the following, moving down to the ground in order to uh, smash the body directly to the ground okay, then I have pass and this I have strike after this strike what I will do is I will grab the hand, pass my left foot forward, stepping on and smashing the biceps and the shoulder area of the, of the enemy or the opponent here, and having this very, very quick control for breaking purposes. I change my hands, here I sit, and from here go up with my, uh, with my fist in order to strike, in order to break, or to smash to the face one more time after the, the smashing strike that we have performed in the beginning. Very, very similar to this technique, the second one, for example, let's do the same strike, same move, one more time, take a look that we have here the strike, go to the ground, keep restraining this arm here, and from here I strike with my, with my ankle. Of course, if we fracture the ribs, we can also injure the lungs because of some abrasion. Uh, yes, yes. this is not only a strike because many people try to generate some kind of powerful uh, movement on some speed to the wrist. But the idea is also to move all your way at the same time this is restraining. And this is a very, very. Uh, you have an impact, and then you And at the same the time, thorax. you need to yes. step. So, so the ribs go, actually, they can even go to the heart. And then on the, the, the. How powerful is that? That's right, that's right. Then, after this, this is one of the explanations of these, of these uh, people explained for, that, for this method. method sorry. But at the same time, we could, moreover, pass. One more time, step on the other biceps. Here, maybe you will go more to the to the elbow area. Maybe I will I will move a little in order to explain to the camera. And from here, after my step, I have with both hands the control here. It's a very very painful control, very painful restriction. And the joint lock on the elbow is very very hard. We have here. And we have this control. This is the second technique, for example, on this Muge Mukeru that they explain for uh, ending this, this sequence. For the third one, same control, of course. We are only explaining this, but uh, the ideas could be applied on several kinds of attacks, several kinds of uh, grabs, etc. And from here, I will strike at the same. In the same, with the same idea, I move, and when I move, I pass my hand downside and around the other hand, the other arm here, and I have this control. When we have this, we will go to the ground for having this violent strike. The idea, one more time, please, stand up. 
a strike, move, and we have this control. We have all conditions to smash with the oh, sorry, stay on this, this position with this uh, with this uh, elbow that of course it's a strong uh, and a strong uh, and a strong part and a strong area of the body. But when this is striking the ground, it would break completely. Then it will be uh, in this case she it's will be incapable, yes. incapable to handle some kind of uh, an eye, some kind of weapon that could be also applied after uh, this end. Then this is very very fast. Here go to the ground. And now it's very interesting because it could be confused maybe with IQ. So the idea here is to pass my foot Completely, forward yes. Yes, in order to uh, control with my calf the neck, the so back side of the cervical, the cervical block. The cervical. I don't have any capability to move. The only capability here right now for uh, she is to move or to, oh, or to this side, but I right now will, I, I will control in order to avoid this kind of movement. Then from here, I will stand, I will put the elbow directly to what is my knee and what is my um, upper side of my calf. For the following idea, sorry, it's to make a very, very strong lock. And understand, as, as much further you bring your knee, the worst is the pressure of the cervical. Yes, we have to uh, understand that we have above pressures, on both sides, that we could uh, apply the pressure. We have the calf that is putting the head downward, extending or making sort of a flexion on the cervical, making this kind of flexion. And at the so same time, she has the here the elbow completely, completely extended. Then. A movement, it would be very violent because at the same time the elbow will be broke, will, will break, sorry, and the neck also will be also uh, hyper extended, hyper flexed. Then it's a very, very dangerous. Shall I say something else uh, in another moment? Maybe about IP digits and couple digits techniques. That would be a really nice video for you to understand more or less the way of thinking and apply to. to 